Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and this is the review of the Novant Falcon. The first thing you may be wondering when you, like, see this device for the first time is why would you want to use this device? Well, the answer to that is quite simple. With all the 3D technology that is available in the market these days, games are becoming even more immersive. Just imagine. Wouldn't it be great if you, is, along with having a 3D experience in the game, imagine if you could use your sense of feel as well by feeling things in the game. Well, with this Novant Falcon, you can. Okay, let's start with the design of the Novant Falcon. The obvious thing is that the Novant are going for a more futuristic look with this. However, in reality, it's just cleverly moulded plastic and metal, but we won't let that get in the way. The Falcon is fully equipped with three arms, and these are linked to a motor inside the machine. These arms are then connected to a single point in which user, the user has full control of. Due to the weight of the product, the stand is built so it can like hold the weight of it. So when uh, the user decides to fully move the handle, the machine doesn't come flying off your desk. Okay, going back to the point where the user can control it, this ball is where the user holds. As you can see, it has buttons on it. The buttons on the device are you pretty much have two directional buttons a select button and a forward button these can be like programmed to do anything you want for example that could be used to fire and things like that so they're pretty much macro like programmable if you like but yeah the reason it doesn't say like select on it forward forward like left right is because they're just simply not used for one thing they're used for a variety of different things so there's no point of putting this key function on it the connections are quite simple on the device. On the back of the Falcon there is a connection for the computer. This is like a USB port. The other provides power to the unit via an AC input. Let's move on to the topic of games. The Falcon does come with its own games. However, the games, the games that are included aren't really designed to be the sort of games you play all the time. The more the games that you use to like test the uh, user interface and things like that, just to make sure you know how to use the Falcon before you go ahead and launch up any like proper games, such as like Gary's Mod. Now before I get started in showing you what the Novant Falcon can do in regards to playing games, you're going to have to make sure that all the drivers are set up correctly. Now, I would recommend installing the drivers that are found on the disk that are included in the Novant Falcon package. However, it would be better if you went to the website and downloaded the drivers from there as they'll be more up to date. For example, I can the FGen drivers which are used to install like well, to make the Novant compatible with pretty much any game are only available online. So you might want to download that. All the links to the drivers that you need for different games are in the description, so feel free to check that out. Plus, as you've probably seen in the unboxing, if not, click the annotation right here. But yeah, if you haven't, if you're not sure how to set this up, then they pretty much give you exactly how to do it in the box. So you just follow these instructions, and that's pretty much how you do it. One thing you notice when you plug the device in. and when you plug the USB cable in that lights up now instead of showing you Gary's mod or any other actual game I'm going to show you a game that comes with the Novant Falcon because these are truly optimized for the experience okay so I'm now going to click on the end vent which is like the place where you can launch the games Oh, with me a second. Okay, as you can see, we have the game launch with the Falcon connected because the blue light is on. So the game's up. This isn't, obviously, this isn't an actual game. This is just one of those games that you use to test the device with. So let's go ahead. For this, for this example, this is like a bowling game. 
So you want to click this button, and then you do the action of a bowl. Obviously that didn't work, I'm still getting used to this myself. I don't know if you quite saw that, but the ball went down the alley into the pins. I'll do that again. This is actually giving me feedback. Obviously I can't show you feedback in the video. Well, I'll try to in a minute by zooming in while I do this. But yeah, all I'm doing is literally doing the action of a bowl. And the ball goes down the alley. Again, the feedback is coming from the motor inside this device. So it goes back into the hand when I bowl down. So it like, gives a realistic feel of the ball going down the alley. Some people may have noticed this ball that does that connects to the Falcon like this. However, you can buy a pistol grip. That's appearing on the screen right now. And literally all that does is you connect it to the Novent Falcon and that means that you can use the pistol with it which provides a much more realistic FPS experience. Again, before attempting to just go out and buy this product and expecting it to work with any game, make sure it's supported by visiting the Novent website. Also make sure you have the latest drivers installed from their website when you have this. Because the CD, so the CD drivers are great if they're up to date, but obviously the internet is like as, mu as much up to date as you can get because they can just push out new software as soon as it's released. So that's the only key points I wanted to tell you. I'm now going to go over the positives and negatives. The first positive element to this device is that it allows for a huge difference in the games. Basically meaning it will allow you to experience something you've never quite experienced before when it comes to gaming. Another great feature is that you can actually buy other attachments instead of having this odd ball shape that just came off. The only real negative to this device would be the weight of it. However, if you think of it, then it kind of needs to be heavy in order for the controller to not fly off your desk when the user is using it. Because when they're going to be... Let's put the attachment back on again. Because you'll be using this for FPS games and things like that, doing quick movements left and right. If it's lightweight, when you go left it will fly off your desk.